back onto that table where you had them? They said, we're going to be like the first people to ever try this. Like, we're the first people to do this project in the state. So that was nuts. That was a cool experience. As a Kappa High School graduate from 10 years ago, it is amazing to see like how far we've come, especially with this program. I mean, I was building picnic tables and sawhorses, and now we're up to the scale of actually building a tiny home. It's, it's fantastic for the kids. It's a full size, full scale project. So the hands-on learning is, is dramatic, it's real. And to have them see it from a concept to working on it and making it happen, there's various stages of aha moments. It's not as easy as it looks. You're just gonna have to be organized, come in with an open mind. I came into this class thinking I wasn't gonna find an interest like it was a regular class. But then the class introduced me to AutoCAD where you get to draft out plans. Um, I'll show you the side view of the trailer. Just watching more kids getting involved as it gets more dramatic, more real to them. It's been an awesome project for two semesters now. We've seen leadership emerge from students and seeing performance elevated because of their pride in work. Well, when I first heard about this project, we were like really excited because to have the opportunity of building something like this was great, really great for us, and especially our age too. Buying into the picture that, wow, I could do this. This is, whether it's professional or personal, some of them, it's both, and this is a great project for them to get fully immersed in and become real for them. My dad's a general contractor, so, you know, like, I've always been following him around the job site. I joined his class to, like, get a better understanding of how he works. Some of them have taken it to that desired level of more interest, where self-directed learning happens. Looking up things, research, tutorials on YouTube, and just having to ask my teachers and have them guide me through what I need to do to learn more. Some of the things that they're going to learn just by reading the tape and then understanding, oh, okay, now I know why I need to understand fractions better. On one of the walls, it wasn't plumb. We had to restart and unscrew a whole framing wall and take it down, re reframe it, and then put it up, make sure it's level. The C channels, that's on the top of the wall plate. We had to unscrew that and then lift that. With any building, there's always a setback. There's always, just like in life, you're gonna discover things as you go. And these students are discovering as they go, hey, there's places where you're gonna just have to take a break, reflect on what's happening, make the reassessment, and adjust as you need to. We just had to take a step back and be like, okay, what did we do wrong? And we just had to communicate with each other and we ended up fixing it in the end. Measure twice, cut once. They're always like double or even triple checking measurements sometimes when making a cut or checking for layouts with whatever we're doing. So I think it really tested their patience. The roof, like leveling it. We did like all sorts of stuff. Just couldn't get it until we we ended up putting like um, two by fours on the top. We noticed like really good, like the dips in part. So we just filled in like put underneath the um, C channels some studs so it just lifts up and like stays even. It's the happening of it that really is, I think for each student, different and unique, but common. They're all kind of sparked to want to know more. Especially working with new people on a team, I learned checking your work before the finished product. Because I didn't tell someone this or that, we had to redo it. PPEs, there's like some stuff I never really know, like steel toe boots. I just thought just wearing shoes was like appropriate, but steel toe boots is the one that saves us from hitting, stubbing our toes. We wear hard ends and then we also like to wear eyeglasses and sometimes goggles. A reflective shirt, so like we, we know that we we're presence there. You know, like the people that come in, like me, this generation that people are, want to be carpenters. You know, some, some classes, some schools don't have the opportunity to that we have to build this house. You know, some people like see in the classroom drawing. First, we didn't have a trailer with materials on it. So it was just a concept. And sometimes young adolescent individuals want a little bit more than just a concept. They need something more concrete. So when the trailer arrived with materials on it to build our tiny home, it was this first like, oh, okay, wow, it's, this is for real. We're like building connection too, you know? Not, not only like this, like, 
me and me and my friends, we're, we have like a group. We're like locked in with this. We have like big dedication to this. It's not just sitting down and working on stuff. You're just out here and you get to do things with your hands and move around and communicate more. It puts things in perspective for them, like that they can actually do this. And they know the process. They know what types of screws that we're gonna need, what type of foundation that we're gonna need, what type of walls that we're gonna need. I learned steel framing and how houses are built, how to use tools, impact drivers, drills, like different tools on the job site, and like how to communicate. Communication is a big thing. Like being safe on a job site, it's really a big part. Great communication, because it's all about safety, right? You need great communication, especially like if you're moving something and we have fall protection, but you still need communication to let them know. Maybe out of high school, if I go to an apprenticeship, I could just fly through it and then get hopefully get a good positioning because when going through carpentry or trade jobs or anything, you, everybody starts from the bottom. and depending on how good your skills are, you still have to build up. These students have shown incredible heart addressing a real life issue, housing, and the housing crisis. This is also kind of inspiring a little bit of uh, hope and potential seeing that, wow, what would it be possible for me and my family to have one of these to benefit my Ohana? When we tell them like the price it costs to actually ship this over here, they're like, whoa, this is, I could totally do this. I can make this on my family's property. Like this is totally manageable. I do believe it will inspire students to build their own home because it's definitely way cheaper. Went through so much trials and tribulations for this house that we can help others with the future projects and like make it quicker, more efficient and make the learning better. And now we're evolving into the finished stage and we're gonna see as we get into the interior, it's a whole nother ball game, finished work. So it's exciting to see it come to another stage and know another cohort of students are gonna have similar experiences. And some of these students from this semester and this school year, when they see it finished, are gonna have a, a greater sense of accomplishment and achievement.